If you're thinking about a career in brand management, then you might be wondering how much you can expect to get paid over your career versus other potential careers. However, unlike financial services where the salaries are listed um, publicly and are publicly available data, brand management salaries are usually not listed on company websites. So it's a lot harder to find clear, transparent figures to know what to expect. There is this guy, the CEO of P&G, who was one of New York Times' highest paid CEOs in 2021 with a total compensation of around $24 million. But of course, most of us are not going to reach that very top position. In this video, I'm going to share a range you can expect to make at each level in brand management. I really hope you can benefit from this information to better plan out your career. And especially if you're a person of color, I hope this equips you with the knowledge to be able to negotiate a fair compensation for yourself. There are a few things to keep in mind with these numbers. Like I said, the salary information is not available on company websites. So the numbers that I'm sharing are estimates based on my own experience working in the industry, friends I have working in the industry now, and I've also sourced the data from various recruitment agencies and salary information websites. Hopefully, this gives you an anchor range to expect at each level in a company. Second, this is for the CPG and FMCG industry, which has some of the biggest employers in the world. Other big industries like tech and luxury goods tends to have the product manager role versus the brand manager role, which has completely different salaries and band levels. Finally, an important factor to consider is location. Um, expensive cities like New York or London tend to have higher salaries on average because companies do take into account the much higher cost of living. So keeping all that in mind, the brand manager's salary is usually split into base salary, bonuses, equity, and other benefits. Let's start with base salary. Out of all, this is the easiest to compare between two companies and this tends to be pretty similar across the board. You start fresh out of college at around $35,000 to $70,000 a year um, as brand assistant or brand coordinator. If you have a year or two of experience, you can join as brand executive or specialist at around fifty dollars to $80,000 a year. Then the most popular and probably the most competitive entry level role is assistant brand manager or ABM. From what I've seen, candidates who are able to land this role have either interned at the company in their summer breaks and get the job offered that way, or they have one to three years of previous job experience and they leverage that to get the ABM offer. The salary range is 65 to 100K depending on company, location, and the candidate's experience level. You then have the brand manager and the senior brand manager roles. A brand manager makes around 100K and a senior brand manager makes between around 120 to 100 170k. Among the senior brand managers, the ones that demonstrate exceptional business management and leadership skills then get promoted to the brand director level. This is where you start managing a team of ABMs and BMs and your base salary can be anywhere between 130 to 180k. This is a pretty intense middle management role because you have a full team of brand managers and ABMs reporting to you and you also report to a lot of senior management. After BD, the pyramid becomes significantly smaller and the base salary varies a lot more depending on brand, your experience and the brand's performance. The salary range that I could find for this was between 180 to 320k. At vice president level, the salary range I could find was again between 180 to 350k and I'm guessing that the real difference here in salary comes from bonuses and equity. Finally, you have positions like president and category CEO, but but it will take you many decades to get there. Besides base salary, another component of your total compensation is bonuses. Brand managers are responsible for the profit and loss of the brand and they work every year to grow the brand sales by either launching new products or by expanding into new markets. Based on their PNL and other related success metrics, they receive a percentage of the year's profits as a bonus. This means that two brand directors with the same level of experience work in the same company could be compensated differently depending on the performance of their brands. Similarly to bonuses, companies also give out equity to their brand employees in order to encourage a sense of ownership of their brands and the company. Having equity means that you hold shares in the company and are therefore a partial owner of the business and its profits. The equity increases as you go up band levels and if your company is doing well on the stock market, then this can prove to be quite lucrative. 
Finally, there are a lot of other benefits that are offered by companies in different locations. And if you're choosing between job offers, then you should ask HR to share the full list of benefits to help you make your decision. This includes things like 401k matching and different companies will have different qualities of health insurance. Some companies pay school tuition per child up to a certain amount and if you're a parent then that can be a significant expense that's taken care of. There is also an increasing stipend for mental health services like therapy and physical health services like a gym stipend to encourage employees to take better care of their health. I've also seen things like gift cards, food allowance and other smaller gifts. When choosing the right company and job for you, do keep in mind that company culture has a pretty big impact on your salary earned per hour. A company may offer less salary upfront but may offer unlimited pay time off or better work-life balance or even the option to work remotely. Some of the senior management salaries I shared are insane but remember that there is always a cost to something that good and the cost is usually all your time and a lot of stress. So yeah, always evaluate the whole package and not just the base salary. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a comment below if you did and see you next time.